Greetings everyone, Irish Trekkie back with another Star Trek The Official Starships Collection issue review, this time featuring the USS Defiant NCC 1768 Special Glow in the Dark issue. And because this is a Glow in the Dark issue, I'm going to try something new and do this review in the dark because how else are you going to do a Glow in the Dark ship justice? What do you think? Of course I'm messing. Lunacy, lunacy. I'll see if I can debut this in the dark or show some pictures of it um, in its um, phasing glory. So this is not the first uh, Constitution class we've had in it, but it is unique in the fact that it does have a special paint job to it. So let's put the ship to one side and let's have a look at this magazine, shall we? So as I said, class Constitution length 289 meters, crew of 430 and a spatial interface, yes, there's a rich lore to this ship and uh, was further explored in Star Trek Discovery as well. So fortuitous timing um, if you are about to watch that series or are in the middle of watching it as well. But I'll keep spoilers to a minimum. But spoilers potentially have been warned. We have our four sections, uh, USS Defined, writing the Tholian web, recreating the classic sets and on-screen appearances. Uh, photon torpedoes, phasers, 23 decks, uh, lost in 2268, some close-up details, and obviously our familiar constitution uh, style. So here we have her in her glowiness. So the USS Defiant was a constitution class vessel that was lost in 2268. When it was exploring an unstable area space, it was pulled out of phase with normal universe and eventually disappeared. And um, this was not the last time we saw this ship, so do check out Enterprise and do check out Star Trek Discovery. Here we see the ship in phase and caused all sorts of crew shenanigans. As I said, it wasn't the first last time we saw the ship. Um, it appeared in the episode A Mirror Darkly from uh, USS, uh, not USS Enterprise, NX-01. Enterprise, the series as well, where the Tholians um, were able to acquire the ship in the past and caused all sorts of shenanigans um, that led into some interesting stories as well. So here we have a piece about writing the Tholian web. Uh, one of Star Trek's most memorable episodes was a pitch from two students who created something new and alien. Yes, great story. Do check it out. You see some of the screen grabs here as well. And oh, look, lucky, lucky, lucky. Tholians, Tholians. Now, when this story arc was brought into Enterprise, uh, they did an amazing job of recreating sets, just like the amazing job uh, Deep Space Nine did as well. But it was just interwoven very well. And using the story arc of mirror universe i just thought was very very good so here we have even just like the uh, bridge plate captain archer mirror archer that is uh evil evil dr flox <laughs> and some great graphics as well so here we have um, them running through the mission plan in order to get the constitution but some fantastic detailing here as you can see, absolutely amazing work uh, done by the crew. I know Doug Drexler had a huge part to play. And again, he's such a fan uh, of the original series that um, you know he poured a lot. You can see a lot of the passion um, that was poured into it as well. I'm sure they were all delighted when they were working on this particular kind of story arc also. I'm just looking at all the detail in here as well. Lovely stuff. And on-screen appearances, uh, In a Mirror Darkly, part two, uh, Tholian Web as well, and alluded to in Star Trek Discovery as well. We saw a, an image, but not like this, uh, but I leave it at that. So let's close out on the magazine. Let's have a look at the ship, shall we? So slightly different hue to the paint, as you can probably see from even before I take it out of the box. I just don't want to discover it. Ah, there we go. Let's put that to one side. So you can definitely see that um, slightly different hue on it. It's quite close to the original ship, but you can see the Bazaar collectors are slightly different as well. Now I will compare the ship 
to a ship in the line just so you can get a sense of scale and a comparison perspective on it as well. So looking at the decals first before we look at the overall paint um, pretty nice bit of a scuff just on the bridge but potentially we could get that out. Um, window alignment looks pretty okay on that so far anyway. It feels very plasticky on the dry section but that just could be the paint. You see the bit of the sheen on the paint here and um, slight misalignment here for those interested this is 0339 a slash a i think that's one of my lowest numbers um that i've received so far and just like the other connies as well just clips on to the sauce section centrally mounted with a slight pivot to it as well to give a little bit of uh dynamicism to it but uh that is the defiant in all her glory so let's compare it to a ship and get a sense of scale and a sense of color perspective too. So here we have the Enterprise, we have the Defiant, we have the ISS Enterprise, and we have the Yorktown. So everything from NCC 1701 to 1717 to 1764. Uh, they're not all uh, the Enterprise, but uh, they're all the ones that I have in scale with each other. So you can see the slight differences in the mirror universe versus the prime universe ships. Uh, also the slight difference in paint between, you know, the original one and the Defiant. Very close, but obviously the Bazaar collectors are a difference too. Um, but also the deflector dish are transparent on these. Uh, not, not so much transparent, but um, light can pass through them. Whereas this is a solid deflector dish, which I actually prefer um on the defiant but uh, as you can see the sculpt mold is absolutely identical uh just really the paint applications and the decals on the defiant itself but it's nice to have these four quite unique ships um here on display and that's part of like you know the reasons why this collection is very very good now i'm going to see if i can show you the ship in her glow-in-the-dark glory let's see 